Hey everyone, this is Pratibha Kadam and welcome in Bioinformics where we talk everything about bioinformatics. So today we're going to talk about things you must know before pursuing bioinformatics as a career. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the questions which every person has about bioinformatics and if you are trying to get a career in bioinformatics, you must watch this video. So stay along and let's begin. Firstly, we'll talk about what is bioinformatics. I know it's a very basic question, but uh, there is a misunderstanding about bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is basically nothing but it's a bio plus IT. Now you would ask me how there is a relation between bio and IT, right? So I'll tell you. Uh, let's take an example of human genome project where that project itself has generated 3.2 million nucleotide base pair data that is very huge so basically when experiment has done biological data is very large and complex so to handle such kind of data to store to analyze and to process it we require computational skills and tools so that we can manage that data that is nothing but bioinformatics but bioinformatics is not just about bio and IT. It's an interdisciplinary subject where you need to also have knowledge of other branches of science like statistics. Now, where statistics is lying in bioinformatics? Let's say I want to compare two populations. For that, I require statistics. Also, chemistry is required. Let's say if I want to see protein protein interaction protein drug interaction so for that basic knowledge of chemistry is required physics is also required when we deal with uh, molecules there are forces in between the molecules right quantum mechanics force field so all these things comes under physics in system biology so being a bioinformatician you should have knowledge, at least basic knowledge of all the other branches of science. Now, let's talk about topics and sub branches of bioinformatics. Number one, genomics. Omics is nothing but large scale biological data. Genome. So, genomics is basically associated with genes and genome. So, NGS is the part of genomics, that is next generation sequencing, where we sequence the gene and genome of the organism let's take an example if i want to find out which gene is responsible for any particular disease that all study comes under genomics number two proteomics so everything about proteins is present in proteomics let's say protein protein interaction protein 3d structure protein drug interaction finding out drug candidates that's all study comes under proteomics. Also, CAD, that is computer aided drug discovery, is a part of proteomics. Number three, evolutionary biology. So, evolutionary biology deals with the phylogeny of organisms, where we try to find out how one organism is associated with another organism. Are they homologs or orthologs? What is the common ancestor of that organism? that all study comes under evolutionary biology number four is system biology where we try to mimic biological cell like environment inside the computer where we try to see how any particular interaction goes in the actual cell environment so that is nothing but the system biology so there are other sub branches also present but these are the main four branches which are there in the bioinformatics also there is immunoinformatics which is associated with immunology chemoinformatics which is associated with chemical substances let's say storing the chemical substances data in the database and many more what skills are required to be a bioinformatician number one you should have a biological background to understand biological data number two Linux. It's an operating system which is command line based where we use commands to handle large size data. 
which is very handy number 3 programming language at least one programming language you should know i would suggest two languages that are python and r so these two languages have bio packages in it packages are nothing but already written code so there are already some packages available for biology so it is very easy when we write scripts to use that package what are the job options available in bioinformatics so there are two ways uh, in which you can apply for the job so one is a corporate job so there are many mnc's companies are there and also there are pure bioinformatics companies available in which you can apply here the only thing you require is your pure bioinformatics skills right your programming knowledge should be good enough so that you can apply in corporate jobs another one is in academics where you can apply in research organizations where you will get the raw data or the experimental data uh, that you need to analyze but here not only you require the bioinformatics skills but also you require good biological background also you need to require or need to have statistics and also you should be good in uh, writing papers what job roles are there in bioinformatics number 1 bioinformatician or bioinformatic analyst this role is about running the tools pipelines developing the framework managing the databases and also creating and modifying the algorithms so the next uh, role is biostatistician if your statistical background is really good you can go for biostatistician so you can apply as a biostatistician in hospitals research lab genetics epidemiology ecology etc so the work would be to have statistical designs and analysis on research data and also sometimes you have to generate reports of the statistical analysis for that data and lastly bioinformatics scientist so this is a very high profile job where you work as a bioinformatic scientist so the key role of this profile is to develop software applications and databases to analyze the biological data this job is more or less similar to data scientist where you have huge amount of data and you have to get pulp out of that data so yeah that's it for today i try to cover most of the questions still if you have any query you can comment down below i'll try to answer it and if you like this video please subscribe because i'm gonna start bioinformatics series so that you won't miss it and yeah until next time see ya